Randy, we're so close. Who would be breaking in? Okay. Okay, probably in most cases, sure it will be a man breaking in. In some other cases, it will be a woman. I'm sure you've already heard, but if you haven't, there is such a thing called women prisons. Marriage has become completely losing your identity, doing laundry for your entire family, and being told by society that you're doing it all wrong along the way. This is correct. Of course it is. Imagine being mad about the easiest job in the entire house. You take all the clothes from the laundry basket, regardless if only half of them are yours, you throw them in the washing machine, you push a few buttons, and in the next hour you get to cry about how exhausted you are while watching Real Housewives. Oh yeah, my heart goes out to you. I don't know how you manage to do all that in a day. This is a PSA to all the girls who want to shave their head. Do it, do it, do it, do it now! Because you know what? In five years from now, if you don't shave your head, you can never say you shaved your head. You can never tell your kids that you shaved your head. Do you really want to look like a lame-ass parent? No. Shave that head. No one's going to stop you. And if people make fun of you, fuck it. You only live once. It's going to grow back. Don't listen to people. Listen to your brain and your mind. That was the same thing. Regardless, do it. Just do it, okay? Yeah, do it, do it. Listen to your uh, brain, was it? No, yeah, I mean, do it. Show everyone you're fighting the good fight. I've been seeing a lot of women on social media shave their heads for the reason to repel men. And if this is your reasoning, you should not do it. And literally the reason being that men are really, really attracted to this. You will attract men more than ever. You will get strange messages on social media. There are also pages on social media dedicated to women shaving their heads. Strange, right? Because I was unaware. But if you want to shave your head for yourself, to start connecting to who you are more, to feel more connected to your femininity, to embrace who you are, and just look like an overall badass, then yes, you should definitely shave your head. But you should also do it when you're, when you're ready. So if you are not ready to let go of your hair yet, don't do it. Because it takes a while to grow back. But if you've been thinking about it for a while, I highly recommend it. And I do too, because it shows me from the beginning who I need to stay away from. I mean, the nose ring already did that, but even if it didn't, the fact that you think men find your shaved head attractive did the job for me. I mean, sure, there will be some men who will look at your shaved head and say, whoa, wow. But me, all I want to say is, oh, hey, Steve, I'm not attractive to Steve. Don't shave it off. I'm not gonna listen. Well, it's a good thing you didn't listen to anyone. And the best part about it is you came up with that idea on your own and you didn't shave your head because someone else told you to. Hive mind? Nah, nah, that's not it. It's impossible. The good news is that men hate us. So there's no point in catering to them. They're gonna hate us anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no point in like, ooh... Oh, he, does he think I'm rude? Does this guy think I'm rude? He already hates you. Who cares? Who cares if he thinks I'm rude? Oh, am I being loud? Am I being loud? I don't want to be loud. They hate you. Be loud. Are they going to hate you more? Okay. What? They already hate you. One man here or there may not, but men, as a rule, they hate you. So let go. Stop catering to them. You will not win. And I think we knew this, but we're but I'm, I don't want to say, I'm feeling this. <laughs> they hate us. So, let go. Let go be free and chop off your own hair and scream in the street and eat the cereal in the aisle in the grocery store before you buy it and then buy it. Maybe, maybe, no, I'm not going to say that. Buy it. <laughs> buy the cereal. Be who you would be. If you weren't trying to get men to like you, because they won't. They will, women in general, not you. Did it ever occur to you that they don't like you because you're loud and rude? Or maybe even because you feel that entitled to tell other women to shave their heads and yet you didn't shave yours? Did you ever wonder that maybe men don't like you because of who you are? Just as women don't like to be surrounded by rude people, oh yeah, what a shock, men don't either. They don't want to be near you because you're rude and loud. And your answer to all that is to be even louder and more rude? Go ahead, sure. What could possibly go wrong. I just woke up and I'm still processing, but 
I just want to issue a formal announcement to everybody in my life that I have now joined the 4B movement. That's for one. Second, secondly, the first question I'm asking everybody in my life from this moment forward, who did you vote for? If I get anything aside from Kamala, get the f out of my face. I am done, honestly. It costs me zero dollars to cut people off. And in this economy, I'm taking all the free shit that I can get. So, I've literally broken up with a man because he voted for Trump. And you can too. It's very easy. Say bye. Toodaloo. Sayonara. And here's the thing. Any man that's like, oh, that makes sense. You're going to die alone. Da, da, da. I'm getting married in 11 days bitch, to a woman. You see that? Sh you couldn't afford this ring, even if you tried. Thank you. Oh, wow, talking about love at first sight. So from the 5th of this month, you already broken up with a guy, found the love of your life, started dating, you realized you were meant for each other. Hopefully you were at least by from the 5th until you started dating another woman. And then she also realized she cannot live without you and she went ahead and bought you a ring, got down on one knee and proposed to you. I love you a good story, but even if this story is true, this sounds exactly like a long lasting relationship. This might get me in trouble because I'm going to say the quiet part loud, but why don't gay men stand up for women's reproductive rights or just women's rights in general? It's the girls, the gays, and the days, but it's not when it's not actually about the gays and the days. When it's just about the girls, I feel like fundamentally gay men are still just men. And it's showing. It's really showing. I don't know, just some food for thought. So it looks like all the white women who voted for Trump are about to find out what Serena Joy went through when they cut off her little finger in The Handmaid's Tale. And when you are bleeding out in an emergency room, when they take away your right to vote, um, all of these things that are about to happen to you, um, they're not gonna ask you who you voted for, okay? Because this country couldn't elect a woman president. They especially couldn't elect a woman of color. So instead, you put a man in office who's guilty of assault, who's a felon, because you'd rather carry water for the white men in your life. Okay, what the hell is she on about? She still goes down to the river to bring home water? What? Is she talking about a movie? I know she went on about some stupid TV show earlier, but Princess Noah's gonna tell you to go down to the river and bring water. We all have magic walls now and water just comes out of one. I took the morning to grieve. That's all the time we have. Now is your time to start making a plan. Women, I'm here to talk to you today. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna delete your period tracking app. I don't care what state you're in. Go into your history, take out a paper planner, write down your history so that you have it because I know that you track it, you, you use it to track ovulation and all of that stuff. You can't do that in an app anymore. Before you delete the app, you're gonna delete your data out of the app. That's not a, a sure way to make sure that they can't use it against you later, but it helps. This is by far my most favorite clip I've watched the entire year. What the hell do they think is gonna happen? Orange men, bad, they're gonna collect all the data about our periods and he's gonna use telepathic forces to impregnate all of us. Okay, I'm gonna try to be serious for a second and I'm gonna try to keep this short. The former KGB back in the 60s performed a social experiment and the results were put in their manual so they can study it. They took a bunch of human subjects and they started throwing fear messages non-stop at them and in less than two months every single one of those test subjects were completely brainwashed to believe the false messages. The best part if you can call it that is that every single one of those test subjects got to the point where it didn't even matter if they were told the truth or they were shown clear information. Nothing ever worked in changing their mind. I'll let you all decide if something similar happened to these women that I've just shown and I will see you all next time.